Let's see, I'm back here at this junction with the Tiki creatures. And that's how I got down to the dark area. When I look at my map, as I'm coming up here, I think I'm actually gonna get to one of the other locations right here. I think that, because I, th I think I'm right. I'm not entirely sure where I am, but if I keep heading in the direction I'm looking right now, keep heading northwest, I should find my way to another waypoint. This already looks like a waypoint, kind of, all these pieces of cloth or whatever hanging down. Oh, everything's glowing now. All right, that's cool. No, this is normal. Oh my god, the sky is moving past forward, and there's a tornado over there. Dear Vera, I'm spending my time in the Institute on long walks in the park. Only here I can find solace, only in the shadows of the trees. My thoughts are peaceful when I see how the sun brushes the green leaves and the wind covers my face in a gentle, warm blow. The doctors say... The worst is behind me. The breakdown was temporary. It's difficult for me to say what triggered this state. I know you'll never forgive me for what I've done. The tragedy that I've contributed to shall never find any justification or explanation. I can only cover it up with madness. But... I am aware that this is a pathetic excuse, and I'm not able to hide behind it. I take full responsibility for what happened, and I am prepared to be punished. The doctors, however, say I will probably not leave the Institute. You must know I would rather rot in prison a hundred times for what I have done to you. I have to confess... I tricked you. I knew you would never, ever want to hear what I have to say to you. That is why I sent my friend with this letter to your sister, and after a lot of persuasion, she agreed to read it to you. To you. I thank her from the bottom of my heart for this. I'm ending this letter. I want to bore you no more. I love you and believe that someday, hopefully, I will be able to tell you all this in person. Luckily, my friend Anton is by my side at all times. He was the one that went to your sister. I hope this letter finds you both well and in good health. I wish you all the best. Forever yours, Vitali. So Vitali basically lost his mind after all that happened. Is that smoke approaching? Is it dis it's dissipating on this side? Oh, it's dissipating everywhere. Everything's still going in insane fast forward mode. Holy shit. Chill out, world. Alright. I think we just narrowed it down to our last one, didn't we? Yeah, there's a the little altar sign. There's a the little church looking building thing. I only have one spot left. 5130. It's gonna require a little bit of backtracking. We're gonna be going right... Here? Yeah, right there. So if I go forward... This will take a little bit of doing. I wanna go past the campsite that went by the red thing. And then I'm just gonna wanna go... I'll have to figure it out as I go. It's a little hard to navigate. Anything coming at me right now? No? Alright. It's taking this path should take us down to the bottom. It's our best approach. Oh, that's a good sign. 
So I can't go there, or can I run? Wait, let's try sprinting. I'll be fine. I made it. Wow, okay. There's a one-way path for you. What did I accomplish by going across the bridge? That must be that one right there. So if I go forward, I can go right or left. Left to take me roughly where I'm trying to go. 5130. I really wish I could highlight it so I didn't have to keep trying to remind myself of its exact location. It's the end of that walkway. Alright. This should take us to that one first log I saw that I was like, I can probably walk across that. Like, in the very first episode. We have a note nearby. There it is. Caution, a psychopath on the loose. A dangerous criminal has escaped the Moscow Mental Institute. We have informed the man is completely insane and delusional. Is that Vitalij? Vitala? I'm sorry, these names are hard. <laughs> is that the guy we've been hearing the diaries of the whole time? Is he actually a crazy serial killer? Out on the loose? On the prowl? There's a mountain again. Just a cool landmark to see in the distance. There we go. Yeah, here's, here's the first tree I saw that I was like, I could walk across that. But then I went, went ahead and walked across the other tree instead, because it was on the way to the red light. And proceeding towards that red light is going to be the right way to go. Although if I go down this hill... Maybe I want to go down this hill? We had evidence that around here there might be a note on a side path. But also if I go down to the bottom and just walk down the middle of the ravine from there, it's actually an easier path to take towards my goal. It's a little less confusing. Let's see here. Yeah, we're getting there. It'll just be a moment. You really start to get a sense of, like, how this whole place is laid out. Granted, all you've been doing is exploring for the last several hours, so I guess it adds up. Is there something over here? No, can't walk over there. I know that that's somewhere around here there's a note hanging out on a ledge. And I tried- I didn't know how to get to it because it was on the other side of a ledge. And I can't walk across that either. Alright, so there's the pillars we saw at the beginning of the game. Looking all creepy and pristine. That was a freaky moment for me because, uh, when they all slammed down, until they slammed down, I hadn't realized yet that they had even risen off the ground. Alright. So I had the other path for the whole campsite thing pa uh, planned out, but at this point, I figure if I just go down this ravine, just straight down the middle of it, that'll actually be an easier path. Oh, no. Is that an impassable drop-off over there? That might be. You know what? I'm gonna- guys, I'm gonna see you guys back at this campsite. The first campsite we ever found after leaving the starting area. Because I think that's actually a drop-off point where I can't get back. Which completely screws up this entire plan of approach. Alright, now I'm crossing the log. That'll take me to the first campsite we found. I believe it's right across this bridge or something. Stop doing that to me, game. I keep hearing creepy opening door sounds, and there's no fucking doors nearby. I'm starting to think they're trying to mess with me in, like, in, outside of game, of like, Yes, someone's walking into your actual room in real life. Mwahaha. I wouldn't be too surprised. Alright, here's the fireplace. So from here, I want to go left, hug my right until I get forward a little bit, because that, all, all that stuff takes me to the radio tower I'm not trying to get to. When, when I go, I want to go left, avoid a loop-de-loop, -loop, and then go right and up through here. Huh. It's going to be interesting trying to keep this straight in my head. Alright. So go up here first. At first we're going to hug the right, because the paths on my left both take me down towards the radio tower we're not trying to mess with. I don't think there were any any spirit guys around here. I think the starting area was pretty safe, aside from the one that they tried to attack me with right off the bat. Is, I think this is the path that'll take me down. Yeah. So I take this path down, then go left at the bottom, or left whenever I can, basically. Oh yeah, this looks like it's it. Oh yeah, I think I remember going right, because I think I looked left and I was like, at first glance it kind of looked like a drop-off. 
I guess you can go this way. Oh well. No regrets at that point in the game, because at that point I was still trying to pick I just had to keep making decisions, because as long as I was moving, I was still looking at new places. So there was no real wrong options for exploration. This spot's getting dark. Hopefully this floor doesn't collapse at any point. There's a note all the way up there. Is this some kind of trap? night, strange sounds coming from the forest did not let us sleep. It's hard to tell what it was. It sounded to me like someone was calling me, but the rest of the group said it had been some kind of humming. We will ask the locals if we meet them again. In the morning, everyone was a bit scared, but after breakfast, our moods improved. We set off up the river. The snow isn't really that deep, but it's wet and it sticks to the skis, so it's hard to move. We passed a couple of cliffs, and after a couple of meters, the area became more flat. Finally, around 5.30 p.m., we stopped to set up a camp. It is our first night under canvas. We were very tired. We tried to prepare for tomorrow's walk, but hunger was stronger. Then exhaustion overcame us. We sat around the fireplace and talked, or rather whispered. We were afraid to speak louder because of the surrounding atmosphere as if this place was sacred or haunted. At last, we took shelter in the tents. Somehow, nobody feels like sleeping. We thought someone was passing by on the trail nearby, so the boys went to check it out, but there was nobody there. Maybe it was some animal. Again, I can hear the sounds from the forest. You outdoorsy people are crazy. All right, what am I gonna find around here? This has, this has to go somewhere, right? It can't just end? Or it totally can just end. Uh... Now where am I? Where have I found myself? So if I'm right here? That's where my note was? But there must be some way to continue, right? It looks like the map just ends here. Huh. Oh, maybe I can go down there somehow. Maybe. Huh. No ways to go that way. What in the world? There must be another path to take, then. If this is a weird dead end. I just, maybe I take the other path that I took originally, but just hit, then just turn a different direction from there? Maybe the map's in... Well, the map is just showing actual paths we already know about, I guess. So if one of them was covered by a cave-in, which is what it looked like back there, then that wouldn't be reflected on the map. So I'm gonna try to go down here, and then I'm gonna try to turn left. When I get to the bottom... Probably just gonna... You know what? I'm gonna take the, the path I haven't taken yet that I know about. I'm gonna go forward across the ravine. When I get to the bottom of here, I'm gonna go straight across the middle of the ravine or river or valley or whatever. And I'm gonna turn left. Because that's not that's what we did, didn't do last time. We went right. I assume... I probably have to go around the entire area to make up for the fact that the place is caved in. So there's, there's a cave we tried at one point. I think I explored most of it. Let's see. So that's the end of the area. That's the cave straight across. So there's gotta be somewhere to go left through here. Where am I now? This game definitely manages it manages to confuse a bit, doesn't it? Wasn't there ghosts in here or something? No, I think I think it just went straight ahead, and then I had an option to go left or right. I hope. Am I imagining things? I could be imagining things. All right, we're back from before I crossed the river. 
We're gonna try to go up this side cave, the one that I explored early on, I believe episode two. This would explain why the uh, all the new locations I've been finding have been so densely packed together, but at the beginning it took me a while to find my second one after the first one. All right, so that church has to be our final objective. Something behind there. So looking at the map, we're, we're right around here. I just want to keep going straight, basically. And loop all the way around to get up there. Alright. We'll see what I can do. So whatever I do, don't turn around. Just slowly rotating left. And not much else. Avoiding enemies, because I think this is where we first saw the ghosts. As long as we keep them dark, we're safe. Hey, Tiki Ben. Howdy, y'all. We have to be approaching that church. Because I saw a church at some point, and I don't think we ever actually reached it. So I assume at this point that that's our goal. And there's our- is that a ghost man? No, those are- those are the ski poles. So keep going straight, well, and take paths that are slowly rotating to the left, basically. Uh, can't go there yet. Alright. It's gotta be somewhere along these lines. Yeah, there's the church. That's probably our- that's probably our objective. Oh yeah, judging by the path, that- that- that comes in... We have to loop around a long, curved wall, basically. Alright, so hugging left wall as best as I can. The messed up church has to be our objective. Where's the ghosts? I know you guys are around here. I've seen you before. Alright, keep it on our toes. My thing's vibrating. Never a good sign. This is a long circular path. Holy crap, how long of a drop is it down there, by the way? We have to- okay, we're going south now. That's part of the path I saw on the map, so that makes sense. I believe I go right here? I think left is gonna be a dead end, isn't it? There could be a note around here, though, so I should check for that. Maybe the notes in this little side ravine over here? Probably. Oh yeah, it's probably in, in here somewhere. That's where I'd expect it to be stashed. Hey creepy territory, how you doing? Hello moon. Glowy light. This is a pretty big vertical area. What's it gonna be? There it is. Next to all the creepy tookies. An entry from the testimony of Boris W., a five-year-old boy possibly exposed to the unknown force that caused the death of 12 people at the Vladimir 30 complex. Bor Boris W., I've seen you in my dream. You asked me about the same thing you were asking about right now. The same man was standing behind you. Dr. Grigor Antovitz. Boris, there's no one standing behind me. No one's here. Boris. You're wrong, Dr. Grigor Antovitz. This man is asking me to tell you that in the storage li in the st in the orange light, the world is more beautiful, and asks you to take a look at chamber number seven in, in section 22. Dr. Grigor, how do you know about this, Boris? Did your father work in, the, your depa in our department? Boris, no, Grigor, you son of a bitch. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen you taking people to God's eye. I've seen their skin burning and their arms being twisted. I've seen the nightmares that it plant, planted in our brains, in their brains. Do you honestly think that no one knew about this? Do you think nobody survived? He has shown us. That's the end of the entry. Well, that's not a good sign. 
There's that experiment we were looking into. And yep, there's the dead end. That was that. It, so if I turned right, it was good. I I would have I would have missed this note, but I would have been on the right path to where I'm trying to go. All right. We're on the final leg of this journey. If you only count the things given to us on the map. Let's see. Can I drop down here the fast way? Yeah, I can. All right. There's a way of sort of going overhead past some of these things. Oh, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. There we go. All right. This is the path I need to go to, to go forward. I believe. Oh yeah. Let's find our way to that church. P possibly a very fitting place to wrap this up. <laughs> no ghost people so far. Kind of caught me off guard, actually. This is roughly the area where I found a bunch of them early on. I wonder if you slowly start to dispel them as you, you find. Have to go faster. I don't have a lot of time left. You have to hurry. Find the way. Find me, or I'll unleash hell upon you. Looks like we have to move. Looks like we have to move fast to avoid a lot of the orange smoke. Uh. Bad things are happening. Bad things are happening. All sorts of sounds are happening. I'm just gonna keep moving. Not thinking about it. Okay. I can only move so fast, game. There's a stamina system. Come on, recover. Come on. Nothing fall on me. We're getting there. Is that it? This seems like it'd be it. Come on, church. Maybe all the maybe all the ghosts are gone because I was supposed to find this place last. And the ghosts were supposed to dissuade me from coming to the church. Which is somewhere- oh, there's the... Uh-oh. The smoke's still coming. I kind of walked into a dead end, didn't I? Well, I can walk over here, I think. There we go. Less than orthodox approach to the church, maybe. Oh, I'm getting stuck. Where is church? Uh... Getting a little hard to find my way around now. Is that it? Oh, there it is. There it is. We just need to get to the tower now. Is the game just gonna end? I don't know if this is the end or not, or if there's like an Act 3. Act 1 was like, five minutes long. Act 2, like, three hours? <laughs> Any ghosts to stop me? Oh, go- oh, smoke's happening. Follow the path as best as I can. Uh, gotta find the door. Come on. Whoever you are, if you are reading these words, I beg of you, help us. We are in a place they call Post Office Box 5. I don't know where this is. I don't even know what year it is. They are not allowing anyone from the outside to have contact with us. They lock us up in cells, four in each. I saw dozens of cells like that. They talk about something they called Anomaly 7. Every day we undergo tests, research, tortures. I have seen how they kill people. I have seen terrible things. Write about it. Let the world know. They conduct the worst experiments possible. They have something that we call the Fear Chamber. There is no way to say what will happen to the person that ends up there. Some come back, but are no longer themselves. They are absent. Others are dragged out dead. Only few stay sane. I have seen a bright orange light which spoke to me in demonic voices and showed me things worse than any nightmare you can possibly dream. Sometimes people come out of there with broken bones, mutilated, crushed, Irradiated. Dismembered. I can't take it in anymore. Take away these images. There is a scientist amongst us. He said that during their sick experiments, they discovered something. Out of this world. 
They are trying to test it. The truth is that it is testing them. He told us that there are more places like this around the world, and there will come a day the gates of hell will open. You have to stop this. Destroy it. Destroy us. Kill us all. The center is governed by something that is called the Soviet Research Unit for Natural Phenomena. I have seen this on an ID card of the man that was interrogating me. He said we were prisoners, convicts, murderers, rapists, thieves. But that is not true. I have done nothing wrong. I hate them all. They call us subjects. No names, but subjects. I am Subject 73. I don't even remember my real name. I beg of you, please help us. Burn it all to the ground. If only this letter reached beyond the walls of the center. If only the guard who promised to take it has kept her promise. You have to do something. I swear by all that one holds sacred, you have to. My only cellmate, Anton, whispers in my ear that everything is going to be fine. That the orange light is singing in the voices of hundreds of angel choirs. Anton promised me that if I listen carefully to the singing, he will free me. Sometimes, however, I think that all of this does not exist. There is no prison. There are no bars. There are no doctors. There is no Anton. There's only this frightening, piercing orange light. So it doesn't look like this game's gonna give us any clear answers. This is definitely a game where you try to piece things together. Alright, something's gonna happen the moment I put this down, isn't it? Fix everything, guys? Did I do what you wanted? It's a long approach. What is gonna happen? Oh! It's all in my head! And so, we have reached the end. Have you understood your role in my plan? There are no random victims, and nobody is completely innocent. You may not agree, but when the gate to Section 22 open and the world will see true madness, you will understand that everything I had done was necessary. I guess this is going to be the end then. Coming up on the final steps. It's really amazing how poorly this game can manage to run when considering that I can't see anything on the screen right now. It's almost completely dark. Like it must just be loading way too much stuff. Oh, we have, tra we have tracks. That's not just- that's not just people, those are... vehicles. Do you hear me? I'd rather be coming to push your name. 
This is probably the weirdest t thing that I've ever heard with, uh, with Sean Bean's voice so far. Interesting use. Wow, look. 40 frames per second. Don't look at the fire. Fires are bad. Okay, now the game's not even running. What the f- Okay, look at the floor. We're gonna hit 60 in a second here. What is happening over there? Holy shit. Oh! So they were running again. <laughs> Oh. Okay, this game desperately needs patches. This is pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It was at it was at 40 one second ago, and now it's at three. What the fuck? The scary part is that it doesn't run. That's the scary part. This is the horror game. What? Is there a head in there? Sounds like we're implying that I just came up and killed the, uh... Okay, come on. The credits run at six, are, are running at six frames per second. That's super weird. So it appears that the final implication is that we killed the hikers all along. Interesting. You said a bright warm light So Callout's an interesting little experience, but I'd recommend, if you plan on picking it up, waiting for a few months. Wait for some updates to come out or something. The, uh, there's just way too many comments on the, uh, in the uh, forum for this game saying, Hey, this game runs terribly for some reason, and they, they clearly need to fix something. The fact that the credits are currently running at 6 frames per second says that something has gone horribly wrong with the way that this game is, uh, is, is uh, set up. Oh well. Thanks for watching guys, like always, I'll see you next time on a game that runs at above 30 frames per second, probably. <laughs>